This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. This is the last lesson of our free course on how to build an e-commerce platform with WordPress. We have built a front-end dashboard for our platform, added some login and registration pages, site templates, membership plans, discount codes, etc. In this lesson, we'll set up some WP admin access restrictions to prevent our e-commerce platform users from accessing the normal WordPress dashboard. Instead, they will have to use the front-end dashboard to manage their sites. For this, we need to open the WP front-end admin settings. Once here, let's move to the access restrictions section. Now we need to make sure that all the URLs of the WP admin pages displayed on the front-end dashboard are in this field. This will allow us to make sure that users will not have access to any other WP admin page, but only to the ones displayed in the front-end dashboard. Normally, the URLs are added as we create the dashboard pages, but in the text version of this lesson, you can find and copy the URLs you need to paste here. Note that if you add any other page that we have not shown in this course to the front-end dashboard, you must make sure to add it here so that it's not a blacklisted URL. Once you're done, save the changes. Now we'll test our platform by adding a new site. Here's our platform's home page. This is the login page. And this is the registration page for us to add a new site. Here we can see all our membership plans, so we will select this one. We need to add the site title and the subdomain. Here we need to add the account credentials. In this example, we'll use a coupon code. Now let's select the country and zip code. And finally, we'll see the thank you page. We can view our site using this button. These are some sample products from the site template that was cloned into this new site. Using this link, we can open the front-end dashboard. Normally, users would open the WP Admin dashboard, but here they will be redirected to the front-end dashboard instead. If we view our site, we can go back to the front-end dashboard by clicking on this link. As you see, our e-commerce platform works correctly. You can build this and any other platform using WordPress, WP Ultimo, and WP Frontend Admin. You can purchase WP Ultimo and WP Frontend Admin using the links in the description of this video. You can also download a backup of our e-commerce platform, so you import it and save a lot of time. Don't forget to visit our courses page at wpfrontendadmin.com courses to learn how to build other platforms. Thanks for learning with us.